right. They've got a puck on the head. And, uh, so we just kept them in the ice it because it was swollen pretty good. So um, we'll see at least tomorrow before we decide whether they came back up or play. Now, do you think Winnipeg set the tone in the first period? Well, they had the two big kills, and we had some good chances, but they were just more physical than we were faster than we were. We missed the net 27 times and 15 giveaways, and that's the game. But they were just stronger. At the end of the day, they were faster and stronger than we were, and we weren't, uh, we weren't able to do anything with that. Yeah, I mean, the way, I'm not going to, we needed, obviously, that for something good to have happened in the game, but, you know, it wasn't like we had 10 of those. I mean, right. was, uh, they, they played a hard, physical, strong, fast game, and, and we couldn't keep up to them. No, any explanation for that? I mean, what? Uh, what part of it is we played more games than anybody else in the NHL, but if you're doing like that, I mean, we gave up two two-on-ones in the first period for no good reason at all, and, uh, and turned the puck over on the two-on-one goal and got beat out in front of that. That's, that was just the summary of what we did with the puck was foolish, uh, and then we just didn't compete hard enough. Is it a compete thing? Is it a confidence thing? Is it a combination? Where are you on that spectrum? Uh, the confidence, uh, we shouldn't be an overly confident group, um, so you have to make up for it by just doing the right things. And if you're going to lose a one on one battle overnight, it's going to end up in your net. It's just the bottom line. Whether they scored on that or any of their other chances tonight, they were just stronger than we were. 10 home games this month. Yeah, well, uh, we uh, got to find a little jump for our legs, especially going into a very fast team in Ottawa, and, um, and we don't have it. Okay, thanks. Thanks.